All right. I'm going to try to give it to y'all as clear as I can. And I always speak about what I'm about to talk about. Very brief. But right now, I want to elaborate on it further and advance what I'm saying. Our DNA has something in it that can determine that what if we put in our head is a value or toxic. The things that we learn, the things that we talk about, the things that we engage in with other people, with ourselves, it can determine somehow whether it's a value or toxic. Now, when we leave our body at death and people say they see their life flashing before their eyes, I believe those people are in a fearful state. And I believe that the things that they have been engaging in, the foolishness, not gaining knowledge, not putting nothing into their soul to help it to evolve past this life. I believe that when their life flashes before their eyes, it's rewinding at that state of death. They see their life rewinding again. And now it has to go back through a time loop to the point where they have to come back and get it right. This world and these entities that run this world need us to come back, to run it. And the only way they can do that is if they control the emotional frequencies and what we learn and what we captivate in our soul. They know that we have a soul and they don't. And they've done the research, these entities, and found out that as long as we are operating on low vibratory rate frequency, that we will be pulled back to this earth. Why? Because they need us. This is why they don't teach us in, in medical school. Geneticists, physicists, biologists, cellular biologists, and so on and so forth. It's something more about our body and our anatomy that they're not telling us or teaching us. Because just from the little bit that I've been researching and the little time that I've been in anatomy and physiology, something don't sit right with me with certain glands that is in the brain that they don't talk about. They talk about the 12 systems in the brain, but all 12 systems have a gland that it operates on. And they all vibrate at a specific time. And under certain emotional waves of frequencies, certain ones start to vibrate higher. I've noticed through my research that when you learn something new and a person be like, damn, that's deep. Something in our cerebral cortex starts to erect. There are things that are connected to certain instruments in our body, certain forces that are far off, that are using us to detect certain things here because they can't come here in their rawest form. I've always said that these beings is us. But being that we are plugged into the brain, right, it is causing us to think that we are the individual that we see inside of this ocean that we call the physical life. I've always said that we can't be measured. We are immeasurable. The mind is immeasurable. So if the emotions regulate certain things at the gate of death, when our life is flashing before our eyes, I've always said that if you are in a fearful state, then what happens is it slows down your vibratory rate of frequency from being able to cross over. You get stuck. And these people know that. And the place that you get stuck in, that's where they are. So they can control you and send you back. You don't cross all the way over. You get stuck in between this round and the tunnel. You never get to the tunnel because that fear frequency kept you stuck. It's just like somebody who gets murdered, right? On, 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 violently. If somebody gets murdered violently, they can't cross over properly. We didn't want to seek knowledge or something that was of value that would enhance our book, our next chapter. We are writing our next chapter as we speak. If all you did was sit around, ate all day, and party, 
you are writing a continuation of another book, right? That will match the book that you are in right now. Nobody does anything to you other than you. The power is with you. And not only that, but when you start to interfere with people's karma, you don't know what people have done to other people, but you sit up there, oh, pray for this person, pray for that person. And the person that y'all praying for did something that y'all don't know that they did before you met them to somebody else back then. Now their karma just catching up with them. And you interfering with that karma, which is now going to get you and attack you because you don't understand the science of life and the science of karma.